Well, welcome, well, welcome back to another um, another <clears throat> live stream on the Afro-Cuban rhythms, right? <clears throat> okay, so we covered the past couple, the past week, we covered uh, the Mozambique, the Mambo, and the uh, Wawanko, right? So today... We're going to cover the Songo pattern, right? So the Songo also came later, okay? Um, the one I like is in a 2 3 clave, right? That's the one I like to play. <clears throat> uh, that's my favorite. But I'm going to go through before, well, before I get into of the um, uh, uh, different sango patterns, right? Obviously, I want to start with um, we'll start with our our uh, uh, foundations, right? So here it is. Okay, we have our <clears throat> we have our cascara, right? In uh, three two. With that, we have our claves, right? Our rumba clave. Right? So you'll always have the caspera and the clave to help you out with the Afro Cuban, uh, uh, with the Afro Cuban rhythms, right? Anyway, so a traditional sango, right? Usually, you don't play the cascara in a sangha pattern. I mean, you could, but it would be a little difficult. Um, but for the most part, you would play like a bongo bell, right, with the, with the sangha. But for the most part, you know, you keep, you keep uh, 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 you know, ride some notes or, uh, or cowbell uh, notes on beats one and three. Right, so I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? Now the percussive notes right here, usually I would either, uh, with the, this is traditional, by the way, this is traditional uh, sango, all right? There's, the first measure has a few notes, okay? This is in a uh, uh, three, two sango, okay? <clears throat> so you have your three, two clave. But for the most part, the percussive notes are um, on the first measure, because it's a two-bar phrase. It's on the end of one, beat two, the end of three, and the end of four. So it's one, and two, and three, and four, right? And then on the second measure, it'll be on beats two, the end of three, and the end of four. One, two, three, and four, and. So if you repeat that, you have one, and, uh, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Sorry, let me do that again. The first measure you have this, right? The second measure you have this. That's it. Okay. So if I put my um, my uh, 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 bell pattern here, if I put notes on beats one and three, this is what I come up with. Now, something you can do is also with the bass drum, you can put it on uh, the and the two. Okay. Now, you can put a bongo bell, okay, on, on uh, uh, the sango. one of the ostinatos you can do, okay? Wait. Ah. Ah. Why am I having such a hard time with this? There it is. Okay. 
Now, the pattern I like to do, all right, which is a straight uh, uh, um, uh, bongo bell pattern without letting up for the quarter notes. I don't really know if that's called a bongo bell pattern, but uh, it's an ostinato that the, Af that the African-Cuban style uses. So I like to use that a lot. So that's one of my personal preferences, okay? Those uh, um, those uh, ostinatos on the bell, okay? Now the other way to play this would be to switch this around to a two three um, uh, style uh, uh, rhythm, okay? Which would, would just be turn around. literally turn that rhythm around because it's a two bar phrase so the the second bar would be where the first bar is and the first bar would be the second bar right so vice versa right so here it is and here it is with the ostinato Now, that's my go-to, right? That's my go-to is the 2-3 uh, rhythm. You know, th those, those are the ones that I like. But that's just me, though. <clears throat> now, um, the contemporary sango is just a bit different, okay? The contemporary sango, all right, the way I like to play it, besides playing the ostinato on the ride, I like to play <clears throat> my ostinato on the hi hat to give a little funk to it, right? Give a give a little funk to it. Okay, so now the way I would play the uh, snare drum parts on this on the sango, okay, is the same thing as I did with the rim clicks, but I would just accent certain notes. Usually it's the and of four and B two. Okay, usually. Mm. We're in a um, a, a two three um, clave, uh, clave uh, uh, rhythm right now. Okay, so that's the thing. Um, now, that's the, um, the 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 bell notes on beats one and three still apply. Okay, you can do that too. Okay, those can still apply, and the same thing with the uh, the the bell ostinato. Right. So that's the thing is that, you know, um, you can vary things up on this. You can. OK, and I'm going to explain some bass drum variations that you can do. OK, uh, besides just keeping your bass drum on the end of two. OK, so now for the most part, I like to keep my uh, uh, my sango patterns uh, ostinato wise on the hi hat because it gives it gives it that funk feel. I like that because. Just like the Mozambique, the Mozambique is a, it has elements of fun, right? As we saw in one of the last live streams that I did on the Mozambique, right? Now, so some of the variations of contemporary song we can do is obviously, like I already did, you can play the bass drum on the end of two. By the way, I neglected to mention this. I should. The type of sango I'm playing, or at least the, the particular rhythm, 
It is something my old teacher Kim Plainfield showed me. So I like his variations because they're they're they feel good. Yeah, something you can do is also you can also put a bass drum on beat four of each measure, right? Right, so there it varies it up a little bit, okay? And it, it keeps you more of like an, an African feel right there as well. So not only do you have like a funk and Afro-Cuban feel, but you have also like a straight up African kind of feel. Especially when you have bass drums on beats three and four. That gets a little, get, that, get, that gets pretty groovy after a while, okay? Some of the other variations is you can have, on the first measure, you can have bass drums on beats one, end of two, and beat four, right? And the second measure uh, on the end of two, beat four. This is what it would sound like. I cover this in way more detail in my courses, but for the most part, you know, I'm just keeping it simple for now. All right, especially my lessons, I totally, I, 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 I rip everything apart and break it down. Okay, so now the next one you can do is basically adding the 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 rhythm that we just did on the first measure and also putting it on the second measure. So you'd have one and two, uh, one and two and three and four and one and two. Right for the bass drum, so it would sound as such. Also, um, just a little side note: if you want to vary up your hi hat a little, you can do a little uh, slur on each um, on uh, beats. One and a three. So give it more of like a, a, a little bit of a pop there. You don't have to do that. You can just keep it airtight, closed. Okay. Uh, also, another vari variation I like is is on the first measure, you can play uh, the bass drums on the end of two and beat four. And then the second measure, just keep it on the end of two. So. Right. I love this in the two, three clave uh, variation because it, it just has it just has a pop to it. You know what I mean? It has a little bit, little, little bit of a pop that I that I that I enjoy. Okay. Uh, Another variation you could do is you can reverse that, what, what I just did, okay? Uh, on the first measure, your bass drum could be on the end of two, and then on the second measure, on the end of two, and beat four, right? Okay. Right? Again, you know, if you start these, you don't have to keep them at one specific rhythm with your bass drum. You can vary it up a lot. You know, just like how you would improvise, you know. Um, you don't keep it the same from measure to measure. I mean, you can, you know, if you want to start out, you know, with just getting a groove together. Then you can start varying it up. And some great, uh, some great examples of that would be uh, with drummers like Robbie Amin, uh, uh, which is considered... So, uh, one of the Latin or Afro-Cuban uh, drumming gurus, as I'm going to call him. Uh, he played with Dave Valentin and such, uh, and those guys. So that's a guy to look out for, uh, or to, or I should say to look up, because of his variations of Latin rhythms, and it's, it's, it's out of this world. Okay. So Robbie Amin is a good guy to look up. Okay, so another variation that I like is uh, with your bass drum, your bass drum variation, that's what we're on, okay, is a bass drum on beat one on the second measure at the end of two, okay, and then a bass drum on beat four on the second measure, okay? Right? So there you have it, okay? <clears throat> 
So you can do, for the most part, wherever you can fit in the bass drum, I would just I would put it there. All right. I mean, uh, yes, the usual go-to is a bass drum on the end, too. Yes, that's right. On the end of two. But you, I mean, you can you can take these and you could put them as many places as you want. I mean, especially, uh, I mean, one of the biggest places, you know, some of the biggest places that you can you can throw your 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 bass drums is one, the end of two, beat four, you know, and you can vary that up, you know, uh, uh, from measure to measure. You know, you can even have, um, uh, you know, where uh, 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 one of them is on the upbeat and then boom, right, right on the downbeat. So you have that boom, boom, you know, that that. Uh, um, uh, that that little like funk thing that little like you know so that's that's something to uh think about i mean i cover this more in more detail uh in 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 other courses and videos that i've done but for the most part you know that's you know those are the songo patterns all right and uh, i'll cover more you know but today i'm, I'm not going to cover uh, too many okay i think i think i'm good with that okay um but anyway, that's all I got. I don't really have much else to explain on this video, on this live stream. Okay, because I'm just taking this day by day, seeing if people like it. So uh, tune back in Monday. Okay, because I'm doing this Monday through Friday. All right, I'm going to cover the Nemingo uh, or the Afro Cuban 6 8, as they call it. Okay, uh, that's a fun one, the Afro Cuban 6 8. You know, there's tons of variations on that one. I mean, tons. So, uh, you know, that would be, the, the, that, that'll be a good stream. Absolutely. That'll be a great one. That's a, that'd be a great one. Uh, I love, I love the, 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 the grooves that have tons of variations. That's my, that's my favorite, you know, um, something that I'm going to work on in the, uh, as far as the song go goes, so one of the things I'm going to work on in the future is, uh, uh, is putting the Koskura with the sango, you know, I want to see how that pans out. That'd be fun. So, um, stay healthy. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in picking up uh, my ebook that came out uh, on Tuesday, uh, it's for sale on the website for purchase. Okay. <clears throat> on after Cuban Costco rhythms, right? Uh, which I'm going to do a bunch more of after Cuban books because that's a big one, right? Latin is a big 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 um, uh, music genre okay um, if you have any questions let me know if you if you're bored and want to take some lessons you know some Skype lessons you know please come on board I, I'm, I'm open for Skype lessons because you know I mean people don't really have anything to do you know right now so I mean why not try something different right so all right guys stay healthy stay fit and I'll talk to you next time